scratch that. Take two. Hey guys, what up? Uh, so over it's monthly favorites time. Woo woo. I want to do something a little bit different with my favorites every month, and I want to do like wellness, beauty, grooming, whatever, like whatever that is, um, but like more holistically approaching wellness and beauty and favorites as opposed to just doing like beauty brands or hair products or clothes because I don't buy a lot of clothes. I buy way too much beauty, but I don't use it all the time. And I'm really into this whole like wellness thing. So we're gonna get started. What's up? All right, uh, so I have a lot of skincare stuff. We're gonna start with skincare. Skincare? What's skin? Skin care. Uh, so I don't wear a lot of makeup every day, but when I do wear makeup, I definitely want something that can take it all off at the end of the day. Um, that's a really easy and seamless process. And that's what this is for me. It is the Body Shop Chamomile Silky Cleansing Oil. Um, it's wonderful. I use it at the end of my night, at the beginning of my um, nighttime skincare routine. I do a pump in my, in my palm um, and I rub it in my hands and I just put it all over the face. Um, and it just breaks everything down like all the waterproof mascara eyeshadow everything I get panda eyes and it really just makes everything just like come like just silky off I wipe it all off with warm water on a flannel and my skin just feels like oh, fresh good to go you heard anyone talk about this in a really long time but I have started getting back into using my Clarisonic I use it every night um, this is the Mia 2 and I really love it. Like I put a pump of my um, face wash into it and I just do it all over my skin. I do it on my neck and then on my uh, upper chest area. And it's just been like, it's so, it's been so helpful to clear everything up, kind of exfoliate, exfoliate everything and also get rid of my zits. Um, I have started working out more regularly um, this month and what happens is I get really bad chest acne and I get acne on my neck and my hairline and then the back, um, on my upper back. And so this is been really really helpful in getting rid of all of that and kind of getting my skin um, used to um, all that extra sweat and like toxins that are coming out and everything and coupled with drinking a lot of water this has been really great for my skin I've also been using this stuff by Dermatologica it's the start clear overnight treatment this mask goes on clear it really helps with like your breakouts or something if breakouts are about to happen and that's what I really love about it I just do it as like a spot treatment like here 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 everywhere um, and I wake up the next morning and either the blemish is fully reduced or it's gone um, and so it's been really great to get my skin uh, back in working order um, another skincare item is the ultra repair instant oatmeal mask by First Aid Beauty. Uh, it's like a five minute thing. It goes on. It's Mine's really grubby, but it has oatmeal in it. It's really nourishing, really hydrating. So having this on for 10 minutes at night, just quickly on, or when I'm feeling really dehydrated in my skin, I love using this when I travel. Um, it's really great and it's definitely worth it. Um, good stuff. Um, and I've been really sick most of this month. So some things that I started doing in my shower, um, I live in Northern California and we're on, uh, we're suffering a huge drought. And so, um, my, my partner doesn't let me take baths anymore. So, um, to kind of offset that I've been using these essential oils. I have uh, eucalyptus here and I have uh, red grapefruit. Um, and the eucalyptus really, and I also have, um, like a purifying shower tablet too in eucalyptus. And I put these into the bath or I put these, I like drop the oil or I'll put the tab in like in the direct line of the shower stream. And it just really helps open everything up. And it's been really helpful like opening up like all of my sinus area, which has just been hard. Like I've just been so congested. Um, so these are really great. And especially in drought stricken California, um, a great way to get in kind of that aromatherapy without having to take a bath. Jo Malone rose, Red Rose Bath Oil. I actually don't use this as a bath oil. I use this prior to shaving. So I put it on my legs when I'm about to shave and then I shave. And this actually makes everything really, it makes everything so silky and it makes everything really just kind of glide. It glides my razor um, so I don't get a lot of nicks on my legs or under my underarms for that matter. Um, it smells 
amazing. Um, I don't, uh, I don't particularly care for it as a bath oil, but I love it for shaving, which is kind of weird. I've been using these two in combo all month. This is the Kiehl's Overnight uh, Recovery Concentrate and the Luna by Sun Sunday Riley. I do two drops of this from its pet and like four or five drops of this. Rub it into my palms, put it all over my face, on my neck, uh, before I go to bed at night. And I just, my skin every morning when I wake up is just so supple. It's like a baby's bottom and I'm like, oh! And it's like so plump and it feels so hydrated and so moisturized and I just, everything just feels so much better. And when I don't use it, I notice like a complete difference in my skin the next morning. My skin looks really dehydrated, it's really dry. Uh, it's very patchy and it looks really um, sullen. It doesn't look bright and like full of life. And so those products have been like ride or die for me for the last like month. And I used, have been using them like on and off. I got off of them in December because there was just a lot of stuff going on. But now that I've been back into using it, like I can't not use them every night. Like need to use them all the time, every day. Might put them on right now. No, actually I won't. I have been growing out my hair for a while and I didn't used to have tangly hair and now I do. Um, and that's just part of like, I think the length, but I got one of these, it's a tangle teaser. And uh, I picked this up in the Isle of Doom at Sephora and I heard a lot of UK beauty bloggers, bloggers talk about this and how great it is and how it doesn't pull your hair. And it's great for your, um, getting out every like all your tangles tangle teaser very good yeah so i picked this up uh the dove um volume dry shampoo and i've been using it for like two months and i'm almost out actually and i really love it 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 like um it mattifies the hair it gets rid of the oils it has a good like fresh scent and um it's really easy to like blend into your scalp. I find with a lot of dry shampoos that either they go in and then they, um, they're really hard to blend out like the white powder. Um, but this does it. It's really great. It's really affordable and, um, I can't say enough good things about it. I use the Sephora dry solid brush cleaner. Um, it's a dry cleaner. It comes like this. It has like a little, like mat that you can use uh, to kind of scrub your brushes and then it has like a, a little soap here and it smells like shea butter and I really love it like I used to use the MAC makeup cleanser um, makeup brush cleanser this was really great I um, I hadn't cleaned my brushes in a really long time and this made it really seamless really easy uh, it didn't take too long and I love the fact that it comes with the little um, with the little scrubby pad, like the little silicone scrubby pad, um, is definitely like, it wasn't expensive. So I think it was like 10 bucks, uh, at Sephora. Um, I want to try the dry brush cleaner, the one that has like the charcoal ring that you can like use really quickly to scrub out, um, any shadow on your eyeshadow brushes and then like you reuse right away. Uh, but this, this was great and, um, it wasn't like, I mean it was like soapy, but it wasn't like too hard to rinse out, which was really nice. Moving on to more makeup stuff. Um, I didn't, I haven't bought a lot of makeup lately, um, but I did go to Sephora maybe two or three weeks ago, and this was in the Isle of Doom. It was, it is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector, and this is in Moonstone. This is actually the travel size that you pick up in the aisle. Um, but what I really love about it is that it has such a creamy consistency and it's great for like underneath your, um, I'm gonna swatch it for you. It's great for underneath your foundation. If you can see that, like it's really just beautiful. Um, it's great for underneath your foundation. I put it on kind of in my priming steps. I also wear this when I don't have any makeup on and I just want to look glowy and youthful and healthy and fresh. Um, this was also really great um, for me while I was sick because my skin was really sallow and it didn't really have like a lot of life to it and it was really just eh. Um, so this really brought back the life into my skin and made it look really amazing. I can't wait for this to be done so I can buy the full size of this. Um, 
I know that you can rub it in and like use it underneath or you can mix it with your foundation. Um, either way, if you want just like a pop of radiance or you want just that like glow from within, like lit from within, I would highly recommend picking this up. Um, and it doesn't sit heavy on the skin either. And that's something else that I really hate is when like makeup really sits really heavily on your skin. This does, this is weightless. It feels like nothing. Um, but back in December, I bought the Hourglass um, ambient lighting edit and like can we just <sighs> so beautiful um, I love this I had been wanting to get the ambient lighting powder uh, palettes so this is actually great it's the blush palette and the ambient lighting palette um, in one and it is six there are six shades in this, but um, as you can see, they're not as big as the actual full-size palettes are, but um, they they go a long way. Like, I haven't even been able to make a dent in them. I've been using this shade right here to set my makeup and my under eye. Um, I've been using both of these. I've been using this shade a lot, and this is a bronzer that I want to try. I haven't used it yet. I used the... Um, Charlotte Tilbury Film Star uh, Bronze and Glow for the most part when I do bronzer. Um, but this has just been beautiful. It's just so pretty to look at. <sighs> it's everything. It really is. Oh, can't stop staring at it. Love the packaging. I have been doing, I've been starting to kind of get back into my groove, my swing of things. And so I started doing um, yoga with Adrian, uh, her 30 day yoga camp. And if you've are a fan of yoga you do yoga a lot um, you know that you know when you focus on certain areas you'd have you can have a like propensity to get really really sore and I love this stuff this is the Mio um, fit for fit skin for life workout wonder invigorating muscle motivating gel uh, I'm just gonna do that right there <laughs> This stuff is great. It has like, um, it feels like there's menthol in it, but what it does is you take it out and you just do like a little, a little spritz, uh, a little pump, and it just comes out like that. And then you just rub it into whatever part of your body you think is gonna get sore, and it just like lights it up. It makes it feel really cool and very refreshing. It kind of tingles a little bit, and it just kind of mellows it out and just gives your skin and your muscle area and that area that you're concentrating the product on just um it just kind of relaxes it it makes it feel good so that way when you go to bed or the next morning you're not feeling as sore or achy um and that's what i really like about it the mio products are really great um they also have a bath um, soak called liquid yoga that's amazing um and that also too and this smells like just really fresh and like mint uh, if you are like most everyone else in january who's working out trying to get uh back into the groove of things and um get healthier uh this is something that's really great for kind of helping to treat yourself after that painful day in the gym so the last thing i want to talk about um is my um yoga mat i have two of these these are by manduka um and what i love about them are that they're two tones so this outside layer is teal and then the inside is navy um but what i love about these guys is that they're nice and big um but they also they have like the inside layer here i don't know if you can see this but it doesn't have the normal texture of a normal yoga mat um, I find this to be really, really sticky, and I have a heart, like my hands stick to them, and then my hands, when they get sweaty, um, from being on the mat, they tend to slide. This, there's like a sticky um, coating or something that keeps it very dry, so that way your hands don't slide, and that's really helpful, especially when you're doing like down dog or a lot of plank or chaturanga or whatever. Um, so I really like that, and I also really like the fact that um, it's a little bit thicker of a foam, so you're getting... Um, you're getting that kind of uh, resilience and that kind of buoyancy from the foam without it making you go off balance. Um, it's really sturdy. Um, when you're doing a lot of balance poses, like one-legged balance poses and stuff like that, or uh, triangle or anything like on the like line of things, um, I find with the heavier, the thicker mats, um, and they have this like weird like kind of cubed texture, like pebble texture. Um, I don't care for them at all. Um, I have a tendency to kind of go off balance or whatnot. So this is really great. It is my go-to mat. I have one at home. I have one at work. 
Um, I love it. Um, they're easy. They are great for just everyday yoga mat usage. Anyway, guys, so thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed these favorites. Uh, let me know what you're loving this month. If you're doing anything um, health-related or fun in the kind of realm of healthy favorites or wellness. I love watching these. I can't wait to hear what you have on your favorites list. And I hope to see you all very soon. Take care. Bye.